Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we'll talk about how to solve quadratic equations using the completing the square method. The completing the square method takes the quadratic equation and turns it into this equation. This makes it easy to solve for x. Here are the steps in order to get the equation in that form. First you move c to the other side. Then you divide the equation by a. Next, divide b by 2, this is what d is equal to, and square it. Next, add this to both sides of the equation. Next, rewrite the side with the variable in square form, x plus d squared. Now we've rewritten the equation. To finish solving, we take the square root, and then we solve for x. This may seem like a lot of steps, but we will go through some examples to see how to use the method. First example, we have the equation x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals 0. First, we want to move c to the other side of the equation, so we add 7 to the other side. Next, we take b, divide it by 2, and square it. This equals 9, and we add it to both sides of the equation. Next, we rewrite the left side in this format. We know d is negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. So we plug in this value into the equation, and epsilon is the right side of the equation. Next, we take the square root of each side. This simplifies to x minus 3 equals plus or minus 4. Now we solve for x. We have x minus 3 equals 4, and x minus 3 equals negative 4. So, x equals 7, and x equals negative 1, and these are our answers. Second example, we have the equation x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0. First, we want to move c to the other side, so we subtract 1 from the other side. Next, we take b, which is 4, divided by 2, and square it. This equals 4, and we add it to each side. Next, we rewrite the equation to look like this. d is equal to b over 2, which is 2. Epsilon is negative 1 plus 4, which is 3, and we plug these into the equation. Next, we take the square root of 3. Now we can solve for x. We have x plus 2 equals the square root of 3, and x plus 2 equals negative square root of 3. So, x equals square root of 3 minus 2, and x equals negative square root of 3 minus 2. Last example, we have the equation 4x squared minus 2x minus 5 equals 0. First, we move 5 to the other side of the equation. Next, we divide by a. We didn't have to divide by a in the examples before because a equaled 1. Next, we take negative 1 half, divide it by 2, and square it. We take this number 1 16 and add it to each side of the equation. Now we rewrite the equation in this format. We know d equals negative 1 fourth, so we plug this in. Next, we take the square root of 21 over 16. Now we can solve for x. We have x minus 1 fourth equals the square root of 21 over 16, and x minus 1 fourth equals the negative square root of 21 over 16. So, x equals 1 plus the square root of 21 over 4, and 1 minus the square root of 21 over 4. Solving quadratic equations using the completing the square method can be tricky. Practice will help make it easier. So for more help or practice problems, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.